Hi there, my name is Lachlan and today we're going to be covering setting up Medicare in your Core Plus account. So the way the Core Plus connects to Medicare is through the use of what's known as a PKI certificate. Now, we need to apply for one of these with Medicare and once we've received it, we need to upload it into our Core Plus account. So let's go through that process. First thing we need to do is go to Setup and Add-ons and then click on the Medicare tile. Now you'll see this is the Medicare setup page and right at the top, we've got what's known as our location or minor ID. Now this has the format of the three letters ION and five unique digits. This will be unique to your Core Plus account and it's important in the forms that we're lodging with Medicare. So let's proceed to step one, which is fill out your site certificate form. So we'll click on that link there and it's going to take us to the Services Australia website with a link for the form that we need. So let's click on that. Now, once we've downloaded that, we can open it up and you'll see that we've got the site certificate form here. So you'll need to run through and put in most of your practice details. So your contact information, uh, address, things like that. Importantly, step 11 here is your minor ID from your software vendor. So that's your minor ID from Core Plus. And as mentioned in the format, ION and then five digits. So enter that there and complete the rest of the details on the form. Now, once you've got that filled in, you can either email it through to this ebusiness at humanservices.gov.au email address, or you can fax it through to one of these ebusiness numbers below. Okay, so now that we've lodged the form with Medicare, a few weeks has passed and we've received the CD. So we're ready to proceed with the setup. So we're now at step two, we've received the CD from Medicare and we're looking to upload it into Core Plus. So what we'll need to do, you can see there's five different files listed here. Now these are present on the CD that you would have received from Medicare and we need to upload these into Core Plus to be able to claim. So you'll see a browse or a choose file button next to each of these. So we'll need to run through and select the corresponding file for CD with the same name. The first file we can see here is FAC underscore encrypt dot P12. So let's click on choose file. And we've got FAC underscore encrypt dot P12 there. So let's select that. Now we've got FAC underscore sign. So we'll choose file again, select that file. Got trust.p12, so we'll choose that file. HIC underscore encrypt.crt, so we'll choose file. And finally, HIC underscore sign.crt, so we'll click choose file and select that final file. Now keep in mind, I'm looking in a folder here, but perhaps on your computer you might have a CD option around the side and you'll need to click on that to find these files. Okay, so we've now got the five files uploaded. There's three additional pieces of information we need to enter. So we've got the Medicare PIC code. Now this is a piece of paper that you would have received from Medicare uh, a day or two prior or post receiving the CD. And it's essentially a unique password that you'll need to authorize the certificate. So I've got one that I prepared earlier just in here. Now you'll notice it has a hash at the front. So please keep in mind, if yours has any brackets or hashes or any symbols like that, you'll need to enter it exactly as it appears on the paper. So we'll just pop that in there. The next piece of information we need is the provider number. So this would have been the one that you would have submitted on the application form. So you need to enter the exact same one here. So we'll just pop that in. The final piece of information here is the email address. Again, this is the email address that you would have entered on the form when you lodged it with Medicare. So we'll put that in as well. Okay, fantastic. So we've entered the five files, we've entered the PIC code, we've entered the provider number, and we've also entered the email address. The final step here is to click on this orange create PSI store button. So let's do that. Okay, fantastic. It's letting us know that the PSI store has been successfully uploaded. That's your certificate. And we're going to receive an email notifying us when it's ready to use. So that's going to be about 10 or 15 minutes. So let's just go back to the add-ons area for the final step. So 
So we've completed step one, we've completed step two and uploaded our certificate. The last thing to do is the step three, Medicare claiming default options. Now this is where you actually enable the ability to submit bulk bill patient claims or DVA claims, and we can set up some defaults as well. So let's click on that. Okay, so under the defaults, the first thing we've got is online patient verification. Now this enables a tool that's visible on the overview page of a client's file that allows you to query their details with Medicare or DBA and confirm that what you're lodging will be accepted. So we've got enable online patient verification. Now this is used for bulk billing and patient claiming. So we'll click on that. And we've got enable online veteran verification, which is used for DBA. So let's enable that as well. Now, the next thing you'll see is the bulk bill claiming defaults. So the first thing we've got here is a tick box that will enable bulk bill functionality by itself. So let's click on that. So that's going to appear as a drop down on the invoice to select the bulk bill claiming type. The next thing we have to select is the service type. It's defaulted to general, which would be applicable for a general practitioner bulk bill claim, but we're going to select specialist as we're requiring a referral for the claim that we're lodging. The next field here is the principal provider number, which is essentially the payee provider. So the practitioner who's going to receive the rebate from Medicare. If you've got multiple practitioners on the account and there's a particular practitioner you'd like to receive the funds, this is where you're going to select them. But a handy option is the auto select based on servicing provider. So this will default the payee provider to the practitioner who's being used on that form. So let's select that. We've also got a tick box here for user can change this when claiming. That's handy if you need to manually override the payee provider on a specific invoice. So we'll enable that as well. The next section here is the patient claiming defaults. So we're gonna click on this tick box here and enable the patient claiming functionality. Again, we're gonna set the service type to specialist rather than general. We've got the option here to put in a contact number. Now this will be the practice or business contact number, the best one in the case of a, an error with a claim. So let's enter that. And we've got the principal provider number again. So we're gonna select the auto select option again and ensure that the user can change this when claiming option is ticked as well. The final set of defaults here is around DVA. Now we've got options for DVA medical claiming and also DVA allied health claiming. Now, most of the users on Core Plus will be going for the Allied Health claiming functionality rather than the general DBA claiming type, but you can enable it if you so wish. Now, we'll select the service category again, so we'll change that from Allied Health to Psychology. And again, we'll select a payee provider, so we'll auto-select again, and we'll enable the user can change when claiming option. Now, the final option we've got here is submit claim when saving invoice. So there's an option on a claim, either a DBA claim or a Medicare claim called send request now. When this is set to yes, saving the invoice will actually submit it to Medicare or DBA, whereas if it's set to no, it will just store it on Core Plus for future submission. So it's handy to have that defaulted to yes, so you don't have to resubmit the invoice in the future. So now that we've got all those set up, let's click on save at the top. Okay, fantastic. So we've lodged the Medicare site certificate form. We've received the certificate. We've uploaded it into Core Plus and we've set up our defaults. So we're pretty much ready to go. The only thing worth noting is if that you've got additional provider numbers other than the one you used on the initial form, you'll want to link those to your minor ID in Core Plus so that you can use those for claiming as well. Now, this is a pretty straightforward process. All you've got to do is call Medicare on their e-business number. That's 1-800-700-199. And you'll simply ask them to link those provider numbers to your location or minor ID as found in Core Plus. Now, as we discussed earlier, that's at the top of the page here. And we'll have the format ION and five unique digits. It's a pretty quick phone call. And once you've completed that, you'll be able to use any of the provider numbers that you've linked with your minor ID to lodge claims on Core Plus. Well, that's the end of the video. If you've got any questions or feedback, please do let us know and be sure to check out our claiming articles in the Help Center. Thanks very much. Bye.